Wow, what's this? Is a t a mini tape vault? A lot of archives here. Because this isn't really where, where all the, this is not where all the tapes are stored, is it? Uh, no, they're stored in. Uh, is it build, building Valley. downtown? Yeah. 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 So what? It's just like a temporary kind of. Can I walk in here? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Well, look, look what's here. This is Jack. Arena. Hi, Jack. You, you're, the, you're, the, you're the tape in charge of the vaults. I'm in charge of the vaults. How are you? Hi, Michael Farmer. Nice to meet you. Hello, Michael. Yeah, this is uh, the working library. Things are coming and going, and uh, we've got uh, three off-site storages, and we've got massive amount. Now, of the Blue Note stuff is downtown in some big building. There's a whole Blue Note section right here. On cassette. Oh, I see. Uh, no. Right. Oh, wow. So, is this where they're? But this is just because of this project. You know, they're not normally stored here, right? Right. And that's just a drop in the bucket as to what we have, but all that section right in there are the Blue Note artists. Oh, here's what people like to see, the, all the Beatles stuff. Can I just have a couple of these? Just, uh... Absolutely. Can I help you carry them out? Uh, they have the right key cards. Yeah, and, and did, you, uh, did you work with a guy named Steve Berkowitz when they were doing the... Uh, I did. Yeah, Steve was here, yeah. He's an old friend of mine. I, I did radio commercials for a record store in the 60s, and he was the manager of the store. He was the buyer. We didn't know each other at the time. Yeah. And I, I was there in law school, and I, the first day in Boston, I walked past a record store, so I, and there was Abbey Road on a, on a point of purchase cardboard thing, and it was a, the UK pressing, and I bought one, and I still have that record. And it was there because Steve Berkowitz ended up putting it there, because he ordered them from, from overseas. 20 years later, and then, it's all amazing. Did you did you ever meet Al Quigliera? No. Who's that? He's, he's another producer. Uh, you know, he worked for Steve, and uh, when Steve was with, was with uh, Sony Music, Columbia Records. Right. Sure. I was working there as well, but he ah. was in New York and I was here. But I, I worked on Al with Al Quigliera on the Michael Jackson uh, uh. set. Uh, so that's how I met Al, and I had spoken to Steve but never met him until. You know, yeah. Started working together on the Beatles project. He's a good guy. He's very fastidious, which is what you have to be to do this kind of thing. Yep. To hear all the different takes. Well, great. Well, thanks so much for letting sure. me see all this. Anytime. I know. And there's all Sinatra records too. Wow. Yeah, we got Sinatras. We got some Dean Martin. The Nat, Nat all the Nat King Cole. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're digitizing things. There's the Nat King Cole story that Chad Kasim reissued mm -hmm. on record. That sounds so. It's fantastic. Yeah. Those recordings. Are Unbelievable. Thank you very much. You're